everybody welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here my name is Melissa or Missa welcome today as you're watching this or at least on the day I'm uploading it Friday the 19th it's my birthday I turn 30 today I got a balloon so for my 30th birthday makeup upload it had to be a Melissa look it had to be pink it had to be blue it had to have gems it had to be dramatic and I feel like I've achieved that. So today we're gonna do, we're mainly gonna focus on the eyes, but I will do my skin and stuff on camera. We're gonna do this whole look here and I am quite chuffed with it. So if you wanna see how I did it and just fanny around with me on thus, my 30th birthday, then please just do keep on watching. I look real bad right now, but we're gonna look real good. I hope, I hope. <laughs> We will see. Right, just quickly priming. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Blackberry. I'm not gonna pick up my palette just because there's so much stuff on top of it. And I'm gonna start off with this shade. This is like one of my favorite shades in the world. I've actually just hit pan on it. I'm trying to follow like the line of my contour for my eyeshadow. Oh gosh, it is very noisy outside. I actually already filmed a like birthday makeup video, but when I went to edit it, I just did not like it at all. So I just scrapped it. And actually now looking at this makeup, like I prefer it, so it's all good. I'll just take a tinsy bit more of that shade. Oh my goodness. Oh, now the postman's here. My apologies. The postman came. <laughs> with a lovely birthday present and I might use some of it in this video. Who knows? So it's very much just dragged out. I just, it's a Melissa kind of style, isn't it? It's my birthday, so I'll do what I want. Then I'm gonna take a grape. And this will start to blend this out. Right now I'm just throwing my colors on though and not being super precise or worried about it or the blend. I'm just trying to get my shape to be honest. It's so weird not being able to do anything for a birthday, isn't it? What shade did I take next? I actually can't tell. <laughs> this is the problem. When you do what I off camera, you do forget like what you actually did. I feel like maybe I took Pink Lily. That's alright, we'll just get our shape. And then I'll worry about the blend. Trust the process, okay? Obviously this looks terrible right now. And then I'll take a bit of lilac on this giant fluffy brush. Oh, already looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna take ABH Noir, which has glitter in it, of course. I just, I don't really rate the black in the palette. I've spoken about it before, so I would rather just use a black that I love. I find that the black in the palette, like it wouldn't go on very pigmented over the eyeshadow that I've already got on, whereas ABH Noir just performs. It knows its job and it does it well. Does it cost £12? Yes. In my opinion it's worth it though. I'll definitely repurchase this when it eventually fails me, which won't be anytime soon I don't think, even though I have hip ban. Yeah, it's gonna be weird not being able to do very much for my birthday this year, but say lovey. Maybe next year will be different, eh? <laughs> I would take more blackberry. It was always like my intention for my 30th to go to Ibiza because I am a huge dance, trance, house, techno, drum and bass, dubstep music fan, like that's my genre and I've never been to Ibiza and it's somewhere I've always wanted to go. Like my sister, me, I used to go stay with my sister quite a lot when I was younger just because she was 10 years older than me so she was super cool and I thought, you know, she was just the best thing since sliced bread. But she is. And uh, she loved 
dance music and she obviously grew up on like 90s dance so all the classics as well are just some of my favourites and I always thought for my 30th how cool would it be to go to Ibiza? I mean we can't do that right now? <laughs> Maybe for my 31st and my sister turned 40 last year and obviously we couldn't celebrate that either but we thought you know, that would be a really cool like joint birthday would be Ibiza for my 30th and her 40th. But oh well, these things happen. I'll go in with fruity. I mean, they don't really happen though, do they? <laughs> just happened the past year and a half. Bring in some more of this kind of warmer purple. I am definitely paying a bit more attention now and trying to make it look similar. Honestly, at this stage I would accept going to Weatherspoons for some fish and chips and a pint of Stella as a 30th celebration, but even that's not allowed. And I know, I know, but there's worse things. I'm not really having a moan. I'm just kind of telling you what's on my mind. I know there's worse things going on in the world than not being able to go out for your birthday. Uh, I'll go back in with more Pink Lily. But I am a firm believer as well in, you know, just because something bad's happened to someone else, it doesn't mean that, like, when you're down, it doesn't count because, you know, it could be worse. Like, it could be worse, but, you know, feelings are still valid if you're upset about something. And I'm not upset, to be honest, I'm quite resigned to it. But yeah, next year, let's all, let's all go to Ibiza. <laughs> just all of us do it. How fun would that be? Everyone in Ibiza. <laughs> okay, I've totally left this front empty because I knew I was going to cover it up anyway. So I'm going to throw on my cut crease oh, with my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I think it's pretty good. It's a decent eye base. Okay, let me throw this on. Ooh. So that's fine for now. I'm going to take oh, another sheen brush, this time the zero brush which is a bit bigger and my sheen epic liner in mellow which is just my absolute favourite colour from them. There's something about it, it's almost like chartreuse, it's amazing. And I'm going to go round. These liners just make my soul happy because they don't crack on me. I'll let that dry and I'll do a second layer and then we will work on it. Okay, this one has kind of got a lot bigger than the other one but it's my channel, what do we expect? But I'm going to go around with a little bit more of that Makeup Revolution base and just kind of skiff the edges of this make it a little bit narrower. Does that make sense? Probably not. And I'll just fill it in and then I'll use my finger out here just to kind of fade that in a bit better. So, keeping it closed just so it doesn't start creasing, I'm going to grab my pastels palette and this gorgeous blue called Cloud Free. Just because the Tahiti doesn't have a light blue in it. Pop this in the front half. It doesn't really matter if I go over that yellow line a little bit with it either because I'm going to need to like go over that yellow line again anyway so I'm like not that worried about that because I do want to get it like right up close to the line. This pastel palette is so good. It's just so good. And I'm going to grab the shade Lagoon. This will start blending it. Well, yeah, I mean it will start. It won't look good right now. 
I'll just use that same brush and grab the deep. Which just makes me think of the boy's character. I love this blue, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. It's my birthday, I'm allowed to make bad puns. It's not even my birthday yet, but I mean it's a couple of days before and I just feel like I can do what I want. Bite me. Take a wee bit more ABH Noir. Blend it into that. And then, just a bit, sheesh, a wee bit more of Lagoon. I had it in my mind to use the gems and stuff like when I started, hence why I've got like a matte eyelid. Because I don't really do matte eyelids all that much, but I'm just kind of going back and forth between these blues. Just saying, hey pal, you want to blend for me? I'm kind of struggling here, can you tell? Yeah, I think that's pretty good actually. I mean, it's fine. I took my ABH eyeliner just because, I, I mean, I just reached into my eyeliners and it, it came out. I do really like it though. Uh, but I always say, like, it's not my favourite and it's not, but it is very good. It's very matte, which is why I like it. And actually this one has lasted me so long, like since it launched, this is the same one, I haven't repurchased it. So a pretty good investment. I'm going to do a nice thick line. I feel like this is just such an old school me look. And then I'll take just a little random brush. This one does not have a name. A little bit more ABH Noir. Just to blend it away at the edge. And the glitter, it's actually a birthday present. It arrived today, so it seems like a good day to use it. It's Barry M Pick and Glitz Glitter Pot. How gorgeous is that? This is in the shade mm, Sass. Anne Marie sent me this and she also sent me the blue one but I felt like as I'd done the matte blue this would be more contrasting but I'll definitely get use out of that blue one let's be honest and I'll use my collection glitter glue I'm just going to pop it straight on from the wand I'm just going to start popping this glitter on it's absolutely like massive chunks. They are so pretty. And it just feels right for this look using like real big chunky glitter. And I don't even mind if it like looks a little messy because it's kind of part of the look. Okay, yes. Then for my gems, I've got these little pearls, I got them on Amazon or eBay, I can't remember. I'll link some anyway. Dab of lash glue. I might even add more gems because I'm crazy. <laughs> I also got this little gem picker tool thing. I'm not sure what I think about it, but we're giving it a good go today. I'll link it as well, I got it on Amazon if you're wondering. I mean somebody's got to keep Jeff Bezos fed, you know. That's my uh, velour lash glue that I've used by the way. It dries down very fast which is why I love it. But I can not really see where I've put the glue now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, not in my eye. The fallout is real. Doesn't matter. And I just take like any brush and a bit of my primer because it's still sitting on my desk where I squeezed it out. Put it in my waterline as well. Just as a base because I'm going to take my pastels palette again and the shade Serenity this lovely green. I might go over the top of this just because 
like I said, I just got a new a parcel and it's got some gorgeous makeup in it that I am wanting to use today as well. Pop that along. I always end up getting it in my eye, but I'm kind of used to it. Pop that a little bit in the front. And then, just using one brush, I'm going to grab Forest, then Tropics, then Q Lime. So this is Forest, the deepest green. I thought I would just keep the lower lash line pretty simple, but I did want to change up the colour. And then kind of bring in the yellowy green. And then I'll use Tropics. Yeah, like I'm not even like blending it, I'm just putting like a chunk of colour on down here. And then key lime. And I'll actually take a wee bit of the black from this palette, just because I'm being lazy. Pop that on the outer corner. Um, and then on the inner corner I took, if I can find my brushki, take a bit of Tahiti green, although I do end up going over the top. Yeah, so Teresa ages ago she sent me a lovely parcel and one of the things she sent me was this Josh Cosmetics leafy highlighter and I thought this looked ideal for this look because it's a green shift and these are insane. I don't think I've ever used Josh Cosmetics on my channel but let me show you. And I put that in the inner corner and under the brow. Look at that! <laughs> Oh, a bit too much on, I need to even it up now. I'll just blend that edge, but like the intensity of that, it's just nuts. I can see why some people are quite obsessed with them. Um, okay. Yeah, right, I'll go over that line, clean up my fallout, and then we'll move on to base. I probably will do the base, like, silently, but I'm going to use all of my favourites and just, like, put stuff on. But, because I don't want this video to be too long, because I really don't have a lot of time for editing and stuff. Um, I will do it silently, but we'll do it together. And it's literally all my favourite kind of products, so stuff you'll have seen me use a million times. My hands are filthy. Okay, that's like the vast majority of my base done. I am going to dip into this gorgeous box of outrageousness. And I think this colour, Zulu, would be nice on my waterlining and like kind of keep that green. Because it's the most green one here. I mean, I am super tempted by this one. Spring day. But I think we'll go with the more teal colour. I love colour pop liners. I'm just going to grab it on this little ABH brush. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's so brightening. That's pretty. Pastels. Big fat fluffy brush. And the shade Lovesick. I mean, we might as well drag it right into the hairline at this point. Are we going to put more gems on? Probably. Okay. I'm just going to work on that blend and put my brows on and then we'll come back because I think we should add more gems. Like, I think we should just go mental to be quite honest because it's my birthday. Actually, while I still have this palette out though, I'll take that shade on my blush brush and just pop it on as well. I did put quite a lot of blush on but this will tie in nicely. I did not put any extra bronzer or contour on after that first cream bronze because I don't know there's something about when I do a pink blush that when I then have like an orangey bronzer on it looks so like not good on my skin so I'm kind of more just focusing on having like quite clear but blushed and highlighted skin. So I'll finish off the blend and the brows and then we'll do some, something like more fun with the eyes. Because they're fun as they are, but they can be more fun. And what is more fun than more fun? Okay, I don't think you can see the other eye, although you've already seen this. Oh, I can't see because my mirror's in the way. Why is it so orange? Uh, is that still orange? No. Okay, so I bought these awesome gems off Amazon and they are like just big, massive, cool gems. I'll link them down below, obviously. And I thought we could bring some of them in, so I've put, what, one, two, three, four on. So I am going to try and keep this fairly symmetrical. So I'm using my Velour Lash Glue. And I'll just start with two blobs and I want these like rounded gems. There's all different shapes in here. They are just so cool and they're the kind of gems that I'm very careful like when I remove them so I can just keep reusing them and reusing them. I wouldn't want any to end up in the bin. Uh, so I'm just like when I remove this makeup I'll just take them off very carefully and then just wash them. Right, it's not wanting to stick there. I'll do that in a moment. Let's put one here and one about here. I still haven't done my brows yet, obvs. Aren't they cool? Mm, keeping it somewhat symmetrical. I just got a balloon. I'm not in a balloon in ages. Then I just, yeah, put some some pearls on. So we'll do that as well. I feel quite bad because my boys love to sleep on this dressing gown. I think they just love the fabric. But I just had to move them off it so I could go and answer the door not naked. Oh, this is a very fast process. If I can remember where I put the glue. This makeup is just making me so happy because it's just ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Right, now I'm going to go throw on my brows, my lashes, and then we'll put a lip on together and that will be it done. It kind of matches enough anyway. Yeah, these gems are just so fantastic. For the lips, sorry my friend Danielle is live right now so I'm watching that so I'm just going to do it as a voiceover. I'm using my Too Faced It's Happening Liquid Lipstick. It's a total favourite and we're using favourites today and then I used the lip liner from Ellie Girl in the shade Fiery and then I'm just going to use one of the pinks in the pastels palette and just kind of dab that in the middle and then I grabbed as well Pink Lily from my Carnival and put that on as well just to give it an ombre. I'm not sure what I think of it but actually it's all right. I might make it less ombre. I don't know, now I'm looking at it I'm like mm, I don't know what I think. Well here we are then. All of my makeup is done. My hair's just, I really need to wash it. It's like so dirty. I've finished putting my eBay earrings in. I'll leave a link to them. I had to find a link for my pals the other day so I'll leave a link for these as well if you want to pick them up on eBay. I just felt like they went with with the makeup look. I am really pleased with this. It's just fun and 
it's out there and it's just cool and that's what I like to do with my makeup. It's very hard to stick my lashes on, I will say that because of all the stuff that was in the way but yeah I'm so pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, tell me if we have the same birthday or a similar birthday. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being subscribed to me. It means a lot. Um, give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. A birthday thumbs up today, not a pity thumbs up. A birthday thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out three videos per week. And I'm going to piss off, take some photos, play with my cats, have some lunch, and just fanny around. So I hope I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye!